Hello there everyone, my name is Ruxby. Welcome to another test run. Today we're checking out uh, the alpha version of Retrograde, uh, which is an interesting uh, gravity based puzzler. Uh, I just saw a few screenshots, it looked a little bit like a portal, and I don't know, it just looked uh, pretty interesting, so I figured, you know what, let's uh, give it a look. So, let's just start the game. Now I did quickly go through the training center that they had just to make sure that uh, the controls were understood. But that's about all I've seen, so I know a little bit about the controls. Hello, and welcome to Retrograde Incorporated. My name is Brett Mitchell, and I'll be your guide during your time here with us. Firstly, I'd like to say on behalf of everyone here at Retrograde, thank you for volunteering your precious time to help us help others. Oh, okay, well, uh... You're welcome, I suppose. Retrograde. Believe it, speak it, live it. So yeah, I, I definitely um, am getting a big portal vibe from the game. Uh, from what I've seen so far, anyway. And, uh, you know, a bit like the Aperture Science Day. They have retrograde, apparently. So uh, we'll uh, see what happens with that. We can go in here. Ooh, he has a nice chair, doesn't he? Yeah, nice chair indeed. Well, you know what? Let's not uh, waste too much time. We started as a small clinic helping people reclaim their memories over 30 years ago. Here at Retrograde, we have held the belief that through our commitment to less invasive retrieval of our patients' inciting memories, as well as teamwork, support, and the help from volunteers like you, we will better the quality of life of those amnesia patients one memory at a time. Please report to the sleeping chamber to enter our patented virtual memory recovery unit. Okay. Well, let's start then. A nice red hallway. Welcome to our virtual memory recovery unit. Nice, eh? This is how we'll be communicating with you while you're volunteering with us. After you complete your training, you'll be on the front lines, entering the memories of patients and helping them weed out through the mess to find the one inside the memory that brought on their amnesia. Bunch of empty rooms over there. Screening room. Okay, well, let's uh, see if we can get in the program. As a company, we have a strong future ahead of us, and it's all thanks to volunteers like you. Thank you again, and we're excited to have you join our team. Please follow the arrow to the training facility, and good luck. Uh, okay, well, that exit is blocked off, and it's definitely wanting me to go this way, so let's go the other way. Can we? Ah, too bad. We can't uh, jump over that. Okay. Well, here is a training center. Um, I did do this quickly because uh, there was a level select, but you know what? We'll all go through it. So we can use um, E to grab objects. You know, just like in Portal, and you can stack cubes on top of each other and easily get past the first puzzle there. Now here you can see the gravity. Um, you'll notice uh, the gravity here is actually, if we let this go, it will fly to that wall. So that is gonna be um, basically the gist of this game or what it seems like is that there's gonna be a lot of puzzles involving gravity in one way or another. Okay, let's let it go now. Ooh, damn it, we missed. Uh, so we want it a bit more forward here, maybe? There we go. Uh, choose your path wisely. Uh, we'll go here. I'm sure it will work out. And uh, here we got a gravity gun. So now you can grab cubes from a distance, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a bit, kind of reminds you of the gravity gun from Half-Life, uh, which worked in a similar way, but furthermore you can use space to grab onto these purple balls, so uh, you can make like really high jumps if you find any of those purple balls. Now we want to go up here and then grab this cube while we're in the air, because you don't stay in the air forever if you grab onto one of those purple things, at least I don't think you do. Anyway, that was a quick training Welcome center. Welcome back and congratulations on finishing your training. It's me, your Supreme Ruler. 
Just kidding. It's me, your old buddy Brent. Aren't you glad I'm back? You are now ready to achieve your first assignment and help make a difference in a person's life. There are a few things that you should know before entering into the mind of a complete stranger, like who they are. So, here's a scoop on your first assignment. This is Nancy Martin. She's 63 years old and lost her memory about three months ago. She loves clock dancing, tchotchkes, and watching 90s game shows. Oh, and there's one more thing. As a liability, I must inform you that entering the mind of a person can cause problems such as heart failure, mental illness, not now, bombing, legal possession of your firstborn child, it can hurt the ability to enter someone's mind above our equipment, like stool, blur vision, left sort of or any other problem that you may think was related to you volunteering at this time today. We want to remind you that you volunteered on your own to be here, that we cannot and will not take any responsibility for any of the above aforementioned problems and or issues that may or will occur. That being said, have fun and enjoy. Hmm. Okay then, uh, I must say this commentator's voice or narrator's voice, it sounds a bit, mm, it's its not quite as good as say GLaDOS from uh, Portal. I mean, I guess this is an indie game so maybe you can't expect that, but it is a bit noticeable. Ooh, okay, so they have it up there. Click at surfaces to shift gravity. Uh, oh, okay, I see how it is. Okay, so we want you to go all the way up there and then get stuck at this. Now that is cool. I like that. Uh huh. When holding a cube, click to throw. Okay, well, we can do that. Let's see. Do we need to hit all the switches? Hold on. Let me see if we can first hit this. Oh, okay, let's open the gravity there. We'll put the gravity there. And then we can get another cube out here. And we can get this cube back because we don't need that open anymore. And then we just want to put the gravity on that wall. Then grab our cubes and shoot them. And if we can shoot both of them, we should open that door too. Oh, that wasn't quite in the right place. There we go. I don't quite get what these test chambers have to do with amnesia. That seems a bit um, odd to me. So I wonder if they're going to explain that because it just seems... Well, this is part of the memory retrieval process. You know, as the saying goes, congratulations. You have received your first keystone to finding Nancy's inciting memories. As you go on your journey to find the inciting memories, more and more keystones will appear until the inciting memories is fully retrieved. Okay, so I suppose we slowly but surely will get back um, pieces of the memory of Nancy Martin. Oh, right. So these were, will all be people. Huh, I see. Uh, although it is a bit weird that we're solving block puzzles to restore memories. Uh, well, that, that first one wasn't too difficult. Let's go to the next one, which is level two. Okay, um, let's... What? Okay. Wait, that is a weird gravity. Huh. Wait, so we have this one? Oh, right. Both of them were not on the buttons, and now both of them are. Just by shifting the gravity. Right click to shift gravity in the reverse direction. Huh. Okay. Um. But let's see. We want this cube, and we want one of them here. One of them here, and then the other cube we want there. There we go. That's more like it. Uh, what's around this corner here? Ooh, nice candle lit dinner. But we want to go inside here and grab our cube. All oh, right, we can't take it through the force field, but what we could do is. Oh. Well, if that has the gravity, then we can do that. And then grab that. Ugh. 
Okay, okay, okay. We wanna shoot it. Come on. If you have the gravity, and then we wanna shoot it at more of an angle, so we can grab it again. Shoot it at more of an angle. Oh, no, wait, we want to get it underneath this time. So we can just walk. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. All right, and then I need to get it past here. I see, it, not, not neat little puzzle. I keep forgetting to switch the gravity back. But yeah, we want to get it over. Then let's put it down. Oh. Let's uh, put the gravity on the floor here. There we go. And finally we want the gravity oh, on this wall here. And put the block in. Good job. Good job. Next level, here we go. So now there's a candle or what? Got anything to say, Brad? No? What was that all? Good job. You look like you need a break, and according to national labor laws, we are required to give you one. So, here's a new piece of art you can play around with. Mm, ooh, a break, huh? Well, let's see uh, what we can play with. Aim and press space to launch to purple cubes. Okay, that's cool. While latched, look around to pivot, press E to drop. Ah, okay, so if we put the gravity on there, then we can jump up after it. Now, isn't that cool? No! Damn it! Okay, so we're not quite in the right place. Um, there we go. I figured I'd be able to do it. Uh, let's shoot it all the way over there. Can we actually make gravity on that wall? Nice, we can. And then we can jump all the way over. Huh, that's a pretty cool puzzle. I must say, they do have some uh, pretty creative um, gravity puzzles so far. Green buttons hold cubes in place regardless of gravity. Yeah, I, I've, I've gotten that. I've uh, realized that so far. Okay, well that's not quite high enough, is it? There we go. Okay, but that's only one. All oh, right, because we first need this one to open. To grab our cube. And then we can take it out and shoot it up there. Uh, we want to do that. Maybe this one for a bit. There we go. Okay. Um, and then we can shoot that. All oh, right, we want to reverse gravity. Yep, nice. Got that puzzle solved. Doesn't seem like this room is expanding much, though. Sorry, Nancy. Guess we're not getting much more of your memory back, huh? You may notice that as you go deeper and deeper into the patient's memory, things may get a little freaky. Just remember, you agree to all the terms and conditions. Probably without reading them. Oh! By the way, if you value your life, don't touch that interesting red substance. It's just a small, tiny, minor, fatal glitch in our system. So, don't touch it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we probably did sign that without reading the terms of conditions, because ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh, now this is interesting. Okay, so we have some buttons here. We have one cube there. There's two buttons there, and another cube here that we need. Oh, I, okay, I, I get it, I get it. See, we're gonna place it in here, and then we're gonna take it out like this. Haha, -ha, I got it. 
Um, okay, let's see. If we put this on the ceiling. See, that is one. Uh, the other one. Oh, okay. Um, can we just put you on this one? Would that work? That opens this. And, okay. So that means that for this one, we actually want this roll. So we want gravity to be here. Okay, cool. Now this room is open, um, which gives us one more cube. Um, but that's not quite enough, is it? Uh, no, there are two more buttons that we need to press. Um, but actually, this room doesn't need to be open anymore, so we can take this off and uh, we can shoot this up there. There we go. Um, just go up there. There we go. That's one. And I think I want to have this pressed to the ceiling. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay, that's still pressed in. Okay, and that gives us another cube that we can put in this slot. Checkpoint breached. Ooh, lava. Okay. But wait, we can't take cubes through this. No, we can't. So I suppose we're gonna have to make do with what we find in this room. Although, I don't see anything. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Cool, can we jump that? Yeah, we can. Nice. Okay, let's move over there. Cool. This is quite neat. Okay, let's see if we... Uh, we want to grab this cube, I think. Oh, oops. Did not mean to do that. Um, let's shoot that over. Oh, not quite. Can I just change gravity? There you go. And now if we shoot it, it will stay in place. We can get this back to us. Jump. And... There we go. Done. Uh, oh, it's Chandelier now. Good. We knew it, know a bit more about Nancy. Good job. Time for your second mandatory break. Your time starts now. Uh, thank you for the five second break, I suppose. But that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like down below. Uh, the game looks quite cool. It is similar to Portal in some ways, but I think they uh, are definitely taking the right path and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this game. Uh, if you want to keep an eye on this game too, I put a link to their Steam Greenlight page in the link in the description below so you can vote for them to get them greenlit. And uh, that's all for now. See you guys next time. Bye.